So, what's up you guys? Marty here with uh, GuitarJams.com. Uh, I've got the Shred-tastic Brett Papa. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brett Papa here, uh, also known as Papa Stash, but that's a long story. Mm -hmm. they, had, they, broke, they broke up. You were just doing... Um, <laughs> You call that hybrid picking, right? Now, yeah. Now, I, I, or people, chicken picking or Yeah, whatever. people have to slow it down to actually see that little shred thing you were doing. But basically, the hybrid picking um, is basically a downstroke is your pick. Yeah, exactly. And the upstroke is your... It'll do like any adjacent strings. Um, you know, you can combine it together. To... But, but the, the down pick and then the up pick would be your middle finger? Um, yeah, you can do... I mean, people get really proficient with it and use all three. Um, I use usually t these two right so um, on so, a riff okay. like that you can use one finger or two okay so now play the lick again I mean just the same way but yeah. after we've explained what it is so it's just really also I'll do it slow it's okay. really easy it's so it's a it's kind of like a pattern with a yeah. little lick in there do, yeah. just do a full speed again Sweet. Yes, sir. That was awesome. Um, I'm sure people would like to see how that's broken down. So what I think we should do is probably zoom in. Let's do and it. And I'll just kind of narrate as we as we as we check something like that out. All right. I'm a little blinded though by the by the speed, but you can catch a pick in your eye. <laughs> I better be careful. <laughs> so do one more time. So where was that finger part of it? So the finger comes in when I switch strings. Like that too. Okay, so, okay, so I go to skip down to the E string. Da, da, da. Okay, then you're gonna do you're using your middle finger. I you know, I tend to use my ring finger in that situation, but but so once you get that middle finger on the seventh fret, that's mm -hmm. your when you right. with your right hand use your finger. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, so so yeah, do it up to that finger note. Got it. And okay, one more time. Okay, and then what? Off. So that's. So you just used your finger to pick that fifth fret of the high E string. Right. So you go finger pull off, and then to the uh, eighth fret of the B string, and then when you come back down to the high E string fifth fret, I hit it again. So that's. Nice. And that's the whole pattern. And then okay. it just repeats itself. So let's see it repeat itself, but nice and slow. So you're using um, the the eight seven five on the high E, the eight seven five on the B, mm -hmm. and then the eight seven five on the on the G also? Yeah, you can do that. And then, yeah, and of course, the uh, that little hammer on onto the sixth fret. Cool. Yeah, let's let's just see that whole lick, nice and slow, and then you can shred it a few times. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, yeah, blaze through it. Sweet. Hello again, Marty. Hello, that was very enlightening. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, so basically, so tell me a couple of cats that like are just experts at that style so people can go explore new music. Um, you know, Brent Mason is probably the best you'll ever see in your life. But Brent Mason. Brent. Brent. Yes. He's a studio guy. But um, if you want to see somebody do it musically that where you can see it, you know, readily, uh, Brad Paisley is awesome. He really incorporates a lot of open string runs. Um, just really cool phrasing. It's really musical. That's really what's really important is a lot of guys can do all the techniques, but they 
aren't so musical. Oh yeah, sometimes you don't feel like you know that's some of the stuff I missed with with some of the shred stuff. Yeah, not exactly. all of it. No. Not all of it. There's all there's good music really in any almost any genre, but I always gravitate towards feeling a connection somehow. Sometimes it's not describable, but that mm -hmm. like you know you feel some kind of emotional connection that Absolutely. you know they're expressing. Yeah. You know, another guy too um, that does this, um, I know we do a lot of lead stuff here, but another guy that's very good at doing that kind of stuff uh, rhythmically is Jerry Reed. Really cool right. lyrics, but he's amazing, amazing guitar player, and you can catch his stuff all over YouTube. Okay, cool. Thanks, yeah. man. Absolutely. All right, so Brett Papa, he's got a YouTube channel called Papa Stash. I do, and I'm going to be posting uh, videos soon to come. Cool, man. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot. Yeah, no worries. Appreciate Thank it, you. Mr. Stash. Absolutely. <laughs> Hopefully next time it'll be. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, I, I still like it.